Today marks 15 years since a woman from Luzerne County went missing. Tonight, family and friends are holding a candlelight vigil for Felicia Thomas. She was just 22 years old when she disappeared after going to a house party in Sweet Valley. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Choates live for us tonight. Patriot Square, Nanticoke with that vigil. Kelly. Good evening, Nick. I'm here with Felicia's mom, Pauline Bailey. Tell me how you're feeling on this 15th anniversary. Oh, lots of anxiety. Lots of anxiety. My family's, we're having a hard time. We, we always have a hard time with this. It's like every day, every day. Does this ever get any easier with time? Not at all, no. It, it seems to me it's like the longer or the worse it gets. It does not get better, no. Why did you want to hold this candlelight vigil tonight? Because we love Felicia and we want her to know that we're not giving up and we want everybody to know we are not going to quit looking for her. We have a very good idea where she is and we know exactly what happened to her and we will not give up. We will find her. What do you think of this turnout here tonight? I think it's great. We always, there's so many people that are, they want to find her too. Everybody loves Felicia and nobody, I mean, this it's just not right. It's, it's, it's not right. You can't just go around killing people and like it's okay. It's not okay. Why would you encourage anyone with information to come forward? Oh, please. You don't have to call the police. Just call us and it, it will be total confidence. We will not give anybody your name. It's really important that you, every little tip helps. We know everything we know already because of your calls. Please just keep calling. Keep calling us. We, we, swear, we won't give your name to nobody. Just anything that you could do. We really appreciate it. It's been, you've been a great help. Everybody has. Absolutely. Pauline, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. And we wish you the best. You. We're live here in Nanticoke tonight. Kelly Choate, Eyewitness News. Kelly, thanks. And we will hear more about how Thomas's friends and family are remembering her tonight on Eyewitness News at 11.